So the technology we brought today involves in understanding uh, biometrics and specifically EKG and we're approaching it from a different point of view in that unlike conventional methods of collecting this type of data which involves cables, wires, and hard metal sensors, as you can see the technology itself is actually integrated into the garment itself with electronically enabled yarns and electronically enabled sensors with the goal of collecting the EKG without any notice by the wearer. Anything that's going to derive sensor data off of the human body really needs to be sitting in close proximity to the skin. And so this is envisioned as a base layer that one would wear instead of the traditional t-shirt. You don't have to strap on a sensor. You don't have to keep track of a wrist device. You don't have to use uh, gel to create a good connection. There's no additional setup or maintenance required. You just put on the shirt and you, you go to work like normal. And then that relays all of the physiological feedback needed to monitor the heart and the heart rate. So this product is a SBIR phase one for the Navy. It's just moved into phase two. So we see a great potential to transition it to law enforcement, first responders, and then potentially ultimately you know, extreme sports people that are climbing or biking or flying, and they want to keep track of their EKG, but they don't want to wear a, an additional device over their body. The demonstration that we were able to provide uh, over the, the course of these few days uh, was well received by both the Directorate of Human Systems and also by AVSOC and also by uh, several of the TACP controllers. They understood the value in being able to collect the, the biometrics and they really appreciated the effort to try to incorporate the sensors without being a burden to the, the human physiology. This is a phase two development. We still have some work to do throughout the rest of 2019 and 2020. But at the, near the end of 2020, we anticipate that this will be ready for wider use. Given this is our third experience here that, again, each time it's an excellent event and creates a platform for small business to really be able to engage not only with the SBIR staff, but able to talk to actual users of different types of, of technology, such as the pararescue teams. Um, the space is set up great. There's ample uh, uh, space if you want to do a, a desktop or, or a field demonstration. There's plenty of room to run robots around or inflatable boats or fly a drone or, in this case, show a mannequin. And there's ample space and there's great access to people that can help us in our development.